Six minutes, 10 seconds into flight. We're down beneath one and a half kilometers. We're preparing to restart two engines, flip the vehicle vertical, then transition to one engine for the landing burn. kilometers we've gone into the hover we're still being powered by the single Raptor engine T plus four minutes and 40 seconds Starship has transitioned it's flipped to the horizontal mode beginning the descent back to the landing zone Third time's a charm, as the saying goes. We've had a successful soft touchdown on the landing pad. That's capping a beautiful test flight of Starship 10. As a reminder, the key point of today's test flight was to gather the data on controlling the vehicle while re-entering, and we were successful in doing so. We had a nominal ascent. We had the maneuver to place Starship horizontal when we reached 10 kilometers right on time. And then during the subsonic entry, it appears we had good control of the vehicle using the front and aft flaps. And as we approached the landing pad, we successfully lit the three Raptor engines to perform that flip maneuver. And then we shut down two of them and landed on the single engine as planned, a beautiful soft landing of Starship on the landing pad at Boca Chica. Also, a congratulations to the Starship team in Texas. They've steadily increased the test launch cadence over the course of the program and have delivered some of the most exciting test flights many of us have seen in a long time. The Texas team has several more suborbital test vehicles in build with number 11 ready to roll out to the pad in the very near future. It's an inspiring time for the future of human spaceflight. Thanks for joining us today and we hope you'll join us for the next test flight of Starship 11. <laughs>